Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Evans and Adobe has just released a 2020 update of Lightroom Classic. It's now called Lightroom 10. Basically, it was just released a day ago and we're going to take a look at some of the new features that has been added on. I'm going to talk about three main key features because those are the ones that I'm really interested in. Those are the only ones that have really meaningful changes to it. Um, the first one is the Zoom tool. The second one we'll talk about would be the new color grading tab, which is replacing the previously known split tone tab. And the other one, really not an upgrade, but basically it relates to doing an upgrade. When you do the upgrade and you are upgrading your catalog, you now have the option to name that new upgraded catalog with more flexibility. So I'm not really going to draw much on that. I'm going to focus on the two main key features, the enhanced zoom tool and the all new color tab. So let's jump into Lightroom right away and take a look at some of these new changes. Okay. So here we are in Lightroom. Um, the first thing I want to show you guys is let's head over to the develop tab. We're already in here and I want to talk about first the zoom tool. So by default, when you are in the develop tab or in Lightroom, you know, you have that zoom tool and we have always been able to click and zoom in and stuff like that. And if you look out here, now you have a couple of more options. You've always had the fit option and the percentages, but now you can also drop down here and do fail, which will zoom in that way. And you also have the hundred percent, right? And then you can always hold down the space bar and pan around you can also drag and drop in the navigator here and go move around where your focus want to be uh, now you also have this percentage drop down so if i click on 25 percent it's going to zoom into 25 percent but you can also click on this drop down and select percentage value so this percentage value once you select that that would be what it will be showing down here up here uh, so you can go back to it hundred percent. You can go to fail or you can go to fit, right? And there is also a few new enhancements. If you hold down the shift key, you can do scrub zoom. It's basically wherever you click, you can zoom in to that spot, right? So you can just hold down the control key as well and drag a box around the area where you want to zoom to and it will zoom there and you can see we are now we are 280 something percent so if i click hold down the control key and drag the box around the eyes you're going to be zoomed in closer into the eyes so based on the size of the box will determine the percentage of the zoom right so if I click a bigger box, I'm going to zoom in less. If I click a smaller box, like in this case of the face, I'm just click this small box around the face. Then I'm going to be zooming in around 50%. So that's basically the enhancements done to the zoom tool right in Lightroom. The next tool I want to talk about, let me just pick another different image and maybe we can talk about the next tool um the next tool which has really been improved is what we call the color grading tab here so before you used to have the um we used to call it the split tone split tone right here now split tone is gone and it's been replaced by color grading and I'm so happy with this feature. It's, this is a feature that I've been using in Capture One for a while and I like it because it gives you final control of the color grading process. And now Adobe has added that to Lightroom. Um, I'm going to go ahead and now you have the three color cycles right here and you can sh display these in different ways. So you have all three showing your shadows, your midtones, and your highlights. You can also show individual curves. This is my shadows curve. This is your midtones, and this is your highlights. 
and you have this option here which will actually do a global color adjustment to the whole image so if you use the global as you can see you can make global adjustments to the hue and the saturation and the color tone of the entire image i'm going to reset this and um, let's start off by doing the shadows so if i just go on the shadows this is the luminous so you can brighten out the shadows right luminous and you can now let's say i want to put a little bit of a blue tone or blue tint in the shadows right and i'm going to go over to the mid tones and i want to put in a little bit of orange in there and you can also adjust the luminance values right of those color and for the highlights for the sake of this tutorial i'm just going to say maybe i want to bring in a little bit more orange in the highlights as well and this is what we've done so far in terms of color grading this so you can see we've warmed up the image a little bit more if you want to do a couple of other options modifier keys that you can use so as I drag this around, you can see that I'm just affecting the highlights. I'm going to reset this. Let me quickly show you guys trick. If you hold down the alt key, right now you're just affecting the saturation of the color that you've chosen right? without really affecting the hue and the luminance so if i let go now i'm changing both the hue and the saturation of the color and then you can just adjust the saturation without affecting the hue and your luminance is always at the bottom here you also have blending options all right and you have a balance slider as well so there we go those are the two key features that have been added in the latest update for lightroom classic so go ahead check it out play around with it in future videos we'll be using these tools in depth in some tutorials and in you know real life situations so look out for those videos and keep creating stay blessed